After just a few months of purchasing my laptop, it is already oh. getting full, and I realized I will soon be out of storage to pirate another new game. So as a programmer who uses a language that was built in seven days, I had to figure something out. Part of this video is inspired by Dev Detours stealing storage from Discord video. So shout out to him. The other day when I was pirating another show, I realized that there is actually so much data uploaded on Telegram and the uploading is also free. So why not take advantage of this? And boom, my plan was ready. Why not create a cloud storage on top of this where I can store all my data? With that, the journey of my personal cloud storage got started. I opened my terminal, created the project, and dived straight into it, created a super system design, and boy I was on fire. Until, I visited the docs for this thing, and the boy inside me that was on fire was ready to give up. But for the sake of this video, this had to be done. So apparently, the Telegram API revolves all around the Telegram bot. So I went ahead and created a cute Telegram bot. The bots can upload data into channels, so I went ahead and created a private channel. Now we had to program the bot for dealing with our data. So I installed this library to program the actual bot to upload and download the data, and the library works smooth. Now I had two options, choose a bad and nasty JavaScript library for file management, or code the whole file manager thing like a super programmer would do, and obviously I choose the library thing. I tried a library, and it was terribly bad. I went looking for another library, after all, sky is the limit, but I soon realized that I had to do things the hard way. I found some libraries, but they all lacked some or the other functionality. My goal was to process the data that I was going to upload. Since I couldn't find a library, I went ahead and used data buffers. Buffers are small memory holders which help to store data while it is being processed. And turns out, working with buffers was actually pretty simpler than working with those libraries. Now that things felt fairly simple, I went ahead and started the actual coding. Now for this project, I wanted to create a simple script, and for a given file path, it should take that file and upload it to my channel, and that wasn't the best bad idea. First things first, the bot supports uploads only up to 50 megabytes, although you can upload files up to two gigabytes by setting up the server locally, but it is a pain in the ass. Now that I was thinking of setting up the server locally, I had an idea. Why not break the files into small chunks and just upload them? The idea was pretty good. I went ahead and coded a simple file splitter, which for a given file splits it into small chunks of 50 megabytes. Now I pass these chunks to my bot, and guess what? It actually worked. And after a few hours of bugs and errors, and oh boy, I was on cloud nine with tears of joy in my eyes. I remembered that I had to write a script for downloading the files too, which seemed pretty simple. But we had a small issue. The API allows uploads up to 50 megabytes, but download up to only 20 megabytes. So, plan chain. Split the files into only 20 megabyte segments. It would be a lot of chunks, but still it's free storage. Now that I only had to change this 50 into a 20, I came to remember another thing. Sorry, I keep forgetting things. What if someone could access the data that I upload? Although my channel is private, but I was still uploading my data to someone else's server. So, another plan change. That's why you should always create a project plan document first. Anyways, I created two more scripts for encrypting and decrypting the chunks. Now that our plan is changed, let's have a look. We first need to get the file, split it into small chunks, encrypt the chunks, and finally upload them. And during the download, we need to get all the chunks, decrypt them, and finally merge them. The theory was all good. It seemed that the plan should work, but again, I saw that my project was getting filled up with all these data chunks, and my code was getting more and more nested. You see, I was using the paths to these files and storing everything on the server, which wouldn't be ideal and can get pretty nasty, but that's when I remembered what websites were created for, for the users to interact and share data with. So I quickly set up a simple front end which takes the file as input, and no more file paths, and no more using of the file system. Now for the storing of the file, we can't store files on the server if they are too big. So I came up with another bright looking idea. Why don't I just store a single chunk which needs to be encrypted and up Uploaded, and when the upload is complete, just delete the chunk. This way, we are always going to use only 20 megabytes of storage on our server. So I modified the splitter and now we were good. I updated the code and it worked as expected. For the download, the bot downloads the files using a file ID which we get as response when we upload a file. Now I needed to save this data, so I created a function which creates a JSON blueprint for each file. This file contains the file name, its ID, and other important data. Lastly, I set up a simple front end which lets you download the data. At this point, the basic functionality of the project is looking pretty good, but it has some major flaws. Firstly, it doesn't use TypeScript, sorry for that. During the download, we are first downloading the file on the server, and then on the browser, which is slow.
slow and requires double the internet. If I upload the same file twice, when I download the file, it corrupts the data by concatenating the two files. And the most important, if my internet goes off during the upload or download, the data is gone. Further, I'll incrementally try to fix these issues and migrate this project to TypeScript. This was a fun project, considering the fact that I spent 32 hours on it. So, that's it for the video. Make sure to subscribe. See you in another one.